Hi, my name is François Simon, a sales manager at ATRsoft, and today I will introduce you to the Batch Property Editor for EPDM. The Batch Property Editor can be used when adding files to your EPDM vault. For example, if I copy that Office folder into my ATRsoft vault, then the EPDM data card for Office documents automatically pops up. I can then modify the different variables, for example, the project name and the project number. And I can also do automatically the checking for the documents that will be added. We can now verify that the project name and the project number information was automatically added to the data card of the document that we've just copied to the vault. The add-in can also be used by selecting files directly inside your EPDM vault. So here we have the data card for the assembly. We can then modify the different field and do the checking automatically and click OK. And now the data card for the SOLIDWORKS drawings will automatically appear and we can repeat that operation for the part as well. For each EPM data card, the user is able to define which variable can be modified or not. Now we can click OK and save the changes for the parts. This add-in can also be used when copying files inside EPDM. For example, if I select that Office folder, copy it, and then select a different destination inside the vault, then the EPDM data card for Office documents automatically appears. This EPDM add-in can also be used from the EPDM copy tree or from the EPDM search. I will now open the EPDM search and I will search for the files inside my EPDM vault where the vendor is ATR. One use case could be that ATR is my old vendor and I want to replace it with a new one. So from the EPDM search I can select the files to modify, open the data card and type the name of the new vendor, for example, custom tools. We can then automatically check in the documents inside the EPDM vault.